New at nine, a hot springs nonprofit taking a step toward creating more affordable housing. Immigration Arkansas's tiny homes project was recently completed, hoping to fill a need in the community. Our Caroline Derby live in studio tonight after speaking with the organization. All right, Caroline, so tell us more about their hopes for these tiny homes. Mm -hmm. Well, Donna and Kevin, the organization prioritizes affordable housing, immigration services, and unity connections for everyone. They're hoping the Tiny Home Project kickstarts similar efforts across the city. There's very little affordable housing in Hot Springs at this time. Seeing a need in the community, the nonprofit Immigration Arkansas set out to create more affordable housing as rent prices rise. It's gone up as high as $1,500 a month. So no one on minimum wage can actually afford a $1,500 a month home. Their tiny home project was this recently completed. Jacqueline Kadena, president of Immigration Arkansas, says this build is just the start. And so the reason for making them small is a single mom could come in and actually buy a home. The three houses are two bedrooms, one bathroom, and 650 square feet each. Right now, the rent is at a market value for the area. But the nonprofit is in the process of grant writing and securing other funding to bring that price down. We're hoping that we will now be able to build some to sell and continue to build some to rent because there's such a high uh, shortage of rental. Affordable housing is one element in the city's rezoning efforts through the Forward Hot Springs plan. Kadena says her goal for the future is someone else joining in, creating more affordable housing for everyone. I hope to see in the next year <laughs> more developers coming into the neighborhoods and just taking a, a good look at what affordable housing could be in this, uh, especially this neighborhood. They have plans to create seven one bedroom homes specifically for the elderly and disabled. For more information about the tiny home project or the city's forward hot spring plan, visit our website at fox16.com. Live in studio, I'm Caroline Derby, Fox 16 News.